everybody welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new now I don't say this a lot in the beginning but if you have a Twitter if you have an Instagram or if you have a TikTok, go follow me on those social medias I am very active on TikTok right now as you can tell this whole video is about TikTok and I've been posting some things on Instagram trying to get your guys's feedback because I really want to make some videos about products you guys might be interested in or just talking about topics that you guys are curious about so let me know down below if you have any feedback for that and go follow me on my social medias now with that out of the way in today's video I am going to be testing out some viral makeup and fashion hacks from TikTok. I've got three kind of like makeup beauty ones and then two fashion ones. So I don't want to make this intro any longer than it has to be. So let's get going. The first makeup hack, which isn't necessarily a hack, it's more of just me trying to get makeup out of a tube. <laughs> So there was this video that went viral of somebody who had some shape tape and they realized that this little piece doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I feel like that's with a lot of different products. So they saw that there was this little plastic piece. They popped it out and then you can stick a brush down in there and get all the concealer that's left down in the bottom. So I'm gonna see if I can get that out because this is almost out and I really want to use the products that's in the bottom. So the first thing they said to do is to clean the top off. I have a bunch of tools over here. We'll see if I need all of them. <laughs> Cleaning the top. Oh, I see it. I'll zoom you guys in. About to do the whole makeup guru thing. <laughs> okay, can you see the top right there? Looks a little different. It's a little wider. And I think this is the part that we're gonna be taking out. I've got some tweezers because that's what they used. And somehow she got this up. This is gonna be a struggle. This is why I did this first because <laughs> I wanted to get it out of the way. Okay, so I lifted it up a little bit. What you really have to do is stick your tweezers in between it on each side and just kind of lift it up like you're prying open paint. <laughs> Here is the little plastic piece. Now looking in this tube, let me shine like a flashlight in it. There is definitely a good amount of product still in there. Hack number one, check. It works. And I bet there's a lot of concealers out there that you can do this trick to, not just the Tarte Shape Tape. So check your concealer, clean off the top, see if there's a little plastic piece and if you can get more out of it by taking that out. So yeah, I'll at least get a little bit more product. Now next hack is eyeliner. She basically just drew three different lines and then she just connected all the lines together and made like a perfect cat eye. So I'm gonna see if this is a good hack, a good tutorial on how to do a wing really easily because my wings always turn out different <laughs> and maybe this will help. The eyeliner I'm using today is now my favorite eyeliner by NYX. It is the Epic Ink Liner, loving this. I like the felt tips a lot better and this one, perfection. Okay, zoom you in here. So her first line looks like it's on the edge of her pupil. I am so nervous to do this. If I mess up my eyeliner, there's no going back. I'll try to make sure you guys can actually see what I'm doing. We got one here. Um, maybe that was a little too far over, but that's okay. Other line is at the end of her eye. And then the other line is the wing. Now it's just time to connect the dots. Starting on the inside. So it definitely doesn't look like the video. <laughs> because I think my eyes are just a different shape, but it's not bad. I mean, if you are first learning how to do eyeliner, it's a pretty good base. I just don't necessarily like my wings looking like this. I'm gonna have to do the other eye the same though. So let me do the other eye and then I'll decide if I really like this or not. Okay, here is how <laughs> I have kind of 
figured them out. I don't know, this one's a little bigger than this one, I think, but this is what I'm working with. And normally my eyeliner isn't this thick on the end, but for someone, like I said, starting out first trying to figure out eyeliner, I think it's a pretty good hack because the shape is pretty much like the basic shape of what eyeliner could be. <laughs> On to hack number three, which is a little dangerous. Basically, somebody heated up a Q-tip, put it in between a straightener for a little bit, and then just lifted up the edges of her eyes and the lashes lifted. Now, the reason I say this seems kind of dangerous is just because you're putting heat on your eyelashes and I feel like that's probably just not a great thing. Can you get split ends on your eyelashes? <laughs> like, how do you take care of a split eyelashes? But I really want to see if this works, so I'm going to test it so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the lowest setting just to be safe. Back to the second tip, I feel like the more I'm looking at my eyeliner, the more I'm liking it. So maybe I feel a little bit better about that hack than I thought I did. Once I get mascara on, I feel like that makes so much of a difference in my makeup routine. I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about my makeup. And then I put mascara on and I'm just like, okay, okay, I'm feeling it. Might be a little hard to see my eyelashes um, right now, but once I get mascara on them, if this really works, you should be able to tell. In the comments, she says, get an earbud. <laughs> she calls these earbuds and heat it with hair iron for 20 seconds, then gently go under your lashes and push your lashes up. Keep brushing your lashes up. I'm leaving it in a little bit longer because it didn't feel very hot. Did that do anything? <laughs> I really don't think it did. Let's try this again. I don't know. I'm not really noticing any kind of lift in my eyelashes. Yeah, that's... How? 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 How did she get this to work? Honestly, I'm a little sad that that didn't work because I wanted my lashes to be lifted today. There was another hack about lifting your eyelashes with a blow dryer. And I feel like that actually would work on cool. The blow dryer was on cool, not on heat though. But I feel like that would work because it's just like blowing air to set them. But I don't know, I thought this would work. It like makes sense if it's heated up, then maybe it will help but I see no difference. So let me put on some mascara, see if I feel like my lashes are any more lifted. Okay, so mascara is on and actually there does seem to be a bit more lifting on this side than normal, but not much. I think that this hack has the potential to work if you do it over and over and over again. Now on to the fashion hacks. I have two of them to test out today. And the first one is making a regular sized shirt into a crop top or like tricking people into seeing a crop top. <laughs> she basically just tied a shoelace around her waist and then pulled up the shirt until it looked like a crop top. Seems really simple, seems effective. Let's try it out. Ta-da, I have a Care Bear shirt. <laughs> Cause I think this would be a cute crop top, so. Shoe tie, shoe tie, shoe lace. I don't know why I keep saying shoe tie. Around my waist. And it looked like she tied it in a bow to keep it secured. She's taking this and just bunching it up. Okay, okay. I feel like it's not that bad. It's very loose down here, which is what the TikTok looked like. And I think if you wanted to, it to be higher, you'd have to tie the string a little bit higher. It looks like a crop top, it looks shorter. So check for working, but I'm not sure if like throughout the day, if it would stay like this or not. The last TikTok hack I have is another one for a way to kind of upgrade your old t-shirts. She pulled, 
part of the inside of the shirt out. Did this little fanning folding motion, tied it with a hair tie, put it back inside and it looks pretty cool. It looks different. It's kind of just scrunched up in the middle. Let's see if it's as easy as she makes it look. Alrighty, so she finds where she wants it. So let's say I want it here. Then she's gonna take it, I think. This is harder to figure out than I thought. Then I pull it out. Ta-da. So I got a fan folded now. I think this is the most complicated part. So she like, oh man. Oh my gosh. Like that, tie it. <laughs> let me, let me try that again. That just really didn't work. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think I kind of did it. I feel like it still kind of looks a little weird, but this is pretty much how it's supposed to turn out. Here it is. As you can tell, I just tied this inside and it kind of worked. It kind of looks weird, kind of does something. So those are all the makeup and fashion hacks I am trying out for today. But if you have any more, send them my way. I'm always interested to see what people are coming up with as hacks. Also, like I said at the beginning of this video, make sure to follow me on TikTok. I am very active on there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the rest of my social media accounts. They will be at the beginning of this video in the description box below where everything is at. It's Kendra Sue. I recently hit 500 subscribers and makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much. I love that I have people out there watching and wanting to see what I create. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully we have much more growing to go. And before my last little thing, I have an announcement. Most of you who have probably been watching my channel for a while know of my boyfriend Garrett and he just released a beat tape. It is called Yellow Monarch and it's under the name Quinn with two N's. Go listen to that. It's available to buy on Bandcamp, iTunes, and Google Play. And then you guys can stream it on Tidal, Apple Music, Spotify, and YouTube Music. So go do that. You can listen to it while you're studying, just chilling, or just listen to listen. Just wanted to shout that out before I went. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.